Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at VR for Twin Motion. Of course, this is one of the requested tutorial, video, tips kind of video that has been talked about on the channel over the whole Twin Motion thing. And today we're going to look at what you can do in VR and what you cannot. Now, we're going to start off by actually setting up a very small scene. The reason why we're setting this scene is so that we can talk about some of the things that are here and things that you may not be able to do with the recent build of Twin Motion 2020. So everything seems plugged in and once you want to jump into VR, all you have to do is click on the eye icon and switch over to VR. From there, you can click on VR. Now with that done, you will be immersed into the VR. So once you pick up the VR joystick, one of them contains the menus and you know every single thing that you need, while the other one is more like a selector and also something that transports you to other parts of your scene. So it makes sense to know that you have these two things here. So if you want to change things like weather, material, you want to get back on the floor and also change settings and maybe undo something you've done, you would need to use the selector handle to do that. This thing can be switched either left-handed or right-handed depending on your preference. And this is actually very nice for anyone who is intending to get started with working with VR in twin motion that you've built directly within your scene. So one of the first things that you would notice is Everything looks way, way up close, unlike when you're working with your screen, where you have to actually deal with things from a distance. At this point, you can literally interact with these things. Speaking about interaction, the mode of transportation means you need to point over to a distance and then pull the trigger before you can move over to that point. Now, when it has to do with texturing, you can easily texture directly here in twin motion when you're working in VR, but you may not be able as currently it is not supported. You cannot add, you know, uh, a new object into your scene. You can change the material however you want. The way you do this is by selecting the material within the category, select it, point it over to an object, or you just simply click drag and drop it on top of the object that you want. Now, at this point, you can switch between what object gets what. And in most cases, you might, you know, simply switch from selecting and dropping the material to transporting yourself to somewhere else. So this is just something you need to keep in mind while trying to work with this. Something else which is also very interesting is the lighting. Now, the lighting which deals with the weather, the season, and also the time of day is something that contributes tremendously to how you get to see things in VR. Of course, it also contributes to how you see things directly in Twin Motion, but because you're more immersed in this one, it is very, very, you know, rudimentary that you know what kind of lighting that you have to do, which on the other hand makes a lot of sense because if you can feel it, then it definitely means it will work perfectly when you're looking at it on the desktop. You can change the weather, which is fantastic. You can also change how the whole look and feel of the season is, and you can literally watch the sunset and also watch the sunrise. Now, this is very, very relaxing because you can tweak these things however you want it to be. And in case you're doing a showcase for your client, they can be very, very immersed in this world of 3D that you've created for them. Now, some other things that you may also need to know is for some reason, while you're working between motion, once you get started, in most cases, which I did try, you may actually fall into some sort of levitation. What I mean by this is you might start from the floor and over time, you just simply levitate. Now this, I don't know if it is a problem from my personal setup or if this is from the Twinmotion app itself, but of course I'm going to do a couple of trials and probably update you guys within the comment section. Another thing that simply makes a lot of sense for me is once you're working in VR like this, it is very, very interesting to see that when you try to use the video texture that this works. And at the same time, when you're trying to throw in things like water, glass, stuff like that, you also get to see them update in real time. I also get to find out that the reflection seems to be quite accurate, contrary to, you know, popular beliefs. And for the most part, if you're also feeling excited about these things, and maybe you just don't have the processing power to get the VR working, you can also proceed to dial down the quality. So you can go all the way from low to ultra, depending on what you have. 
So these are most of the things which I've come to find out while playing with the VR within Twin Motion. And of course, it's just very immersive, just like every other VR. So this is definitely going to be about it. I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And just before we go, once you're done, you can definitely dive out of VR by closing the window. And this is going to bring you back into twin motion and once this brings you back into twin motion you can proceed to continue whatever adjustments that you want to make for your scene and then you can have fun working with this so this is definitely going to be about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace